Carlos Suarez was only 21 when he was shot in the back and paralyzed. He thought he would spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Two years later, he's learning to walk again. He would still be totally wheelchair bound, were it not for the efforts of two inspirational doctors in Argentina and the latest in electrical stimulation technology. Dr. Carolina Tapanig, bioengineer, is the technical brain. Dr. Isabel Francesi, physical therapist, specializes in the physical rehabilitation of paralysis patients. Together, they make a formidable team. Carolina diseña los equipos. Caroline designs the equipment and I test it. I do the training and I suggest, depending on each patient, what changes I think there should be. We've achieved beautiful things, good things. Nine years ago, they began to experiment with functional electrical stimulation, or FES. Stimulating the muscles via an electric current is the only existing and realistic possibility of restoring the ability to walk in paralysis patients, like Carlos. The spinal cord connects all parts of the body to the brain. But when the cord is damaged, messages sent from the brain no longer reach the limbs. FES bypasses the damaged nerve pathways with an artificial electrical current. The current, which is controlled by the patient, stimulates the muscles and makes them contract. The system is like a bridge which bypasses the spinal injury that the patient has. The bullet that entered Carlos's back smashed the top of his spine and paralyzed him. Before the accident, I was a boy who would get up every day and go out and be with my friends and play football. All day I'd play football. I was very active. For months, the idea of standing seemed an impossible dream, until he came to the Vera Candiotti Rehabilitation Hospital in Santa Fe. Today I'm fighting to see if I can go forward. It's not easy, but you have to go forward, or you'll fall. The first step is to rebuild the wasted muscle in his legs, so that electrodes can power his first steps. My goal is to be able to stand up alone, to walk alone, even if it is with this apparatus. What I want most is to drop the wheelchair as soon as possible. Like Carlos, Javier Bustelari was also injured with a bullet wound. He became a hemiplegic, partially paralyzed down his left side. His left foot used to drag along the floor when he walked and he often fell. He was fitted with an orthosis, a plastic and metal foot brace that clamped his foot and leg into a rigid position. But this device had major drawbacks. We equipped him with a short orthosis and he had an awkward walk. It wasn't normal, it hurt his foot. He had problems. Thanks to electrical stimulation, Javier is now free of the brace and can lift his foot off the ground and maintain it in a horizontal position. I don't like to use this orthosis because it hurts. The FEST system is more agile. You can do more things. We substituted the hard, uncomfortable apparatus. FES is just a small system you can carry on the waist. And with this, we create a walk that's as normal as possible. The system is so small and light, you can use it at home. But in the peaceful setting of the bioengineering department of the National University of Entre Rios, Carolina and her team are taking this technology even further. They are developing a new system of electrical stimulation that is a world first. This time it's smaller, and because it's digital, even more precise. Instead of manually pressing a button to stimulate the electrodes for every step a patient takes, 
he or she will be able to use a pre-programmed walk, taking many steps at a time. Este sistema innova eh... This system is innovative in many ways. It has six channels of stimulation instead of the usual four. It enables an automatic walk, which means that the patient can walk hands-free without having to worry about controlling the stimulation. Spinal injuries from car accidents or gunshot wounds are on the rise. So the need for smaller, lighter, more powerful and precise electrical stimulation devices will only get greater. And as it does, Carolina and her team will continue to be at the forefront of this research. The digital system is the first step towards the future. As engineers, we know there are many improvements that can be made, and we want to incorporate these improvements. These will differentiate it from other systems, and above all, will provide a solution to the problems and the technical limitations the system has.